What's up you guys, Avery here, and I apologize for the lack of videos, as I said in my bandless re reveal video, um, I was out of town at my grandparents' house, and I just got back today, so, of course, I'm going to be a little bit tired, um, hence why there's barely any enthusiasm in my voice, but also because of the fact that I straight up hate this, uh, this list, and I know that people are already going to be typing in the comments, craziness probably on one side of the fence oh I love the list screw you and there's gonna be other people that say oh I hate the list too let's be friends <laughs> um but I still want to actually sit down and talk to you guys about the list for a couple reasons one because I was freaking out in my initial reaction video saying that zoo is still alive and all this stuff and uh, zoo's not really alive you guys it's it's definitely been put in check with Rat going to 2. Kaiju Slumber didn't even need to go to 2. You could have just put Rat to 2 and that put it in check. But they wanted to solidify to be sure, I guess, that Zodiac was going to be in check and have Paleo be Tier 0. Um, and I'm also not happy with this list because I was one of those people that invested in Zoo a little bit too early. As, <laughs> it, as you saw in my combo video, which if you haven't watched it, I highly suggest you go and watch it. Um, in that video, I mentioned how I've spent over $700 on Zodiac. I bought a play set of barrages for $99 a piece. I basically made the price go up to almost $120 that night, which is also on my channel. Um, you can watch that, and I was kind of freaking out at the time, and it was it was funny. It was kind of hilarious. Uh, and then, of course, the price really tanked, and then I'm sure the price has tanked even more uh, because of the fact that Zoo got hit. Uh, it's still a playable deck. It's still fairly good, um, but I would much rather be playing Paleo right now just because of the fact that it did not get touched at all and totally awesome is busted. <laughs> um, and uh, just... Th this list just leaves a sour taste in my mouth, you guys. Like, honestly, like, I'm very fed up with the game right now just because I've been testing and testing and testing and testing Zoo. And I feel that I know the deck inside and out. I feel like I'm one of the more better players of Zoo. Not trying to toot my own horn, but that's just how I feel. And then this list comes along and puts Zoo in check so hard that you basically have to relearn the deck. You have to relearn combos. You have to play it in such a way that if you screw up, there's no way you're going to be able to come back. And if you open up bad, you pretty much lose the game. Like I saw someone on Zodiac Duels put it that it's a glass cannon now and that the Kaiju variants are dead. I wouldn't say that the Kaiju variants are dead. I'm, I'm testing the Kaiju build right now and it's not terrible. Um, but the Kaiju variants definitely took a hit. Um, and this all comes back to, not only is it obviously my fault for investing in Zodiac, which, of course, you know, the players in, in this game choose to do. They choose to invest in a deck. But then why is it that Konami has to come along and screw us over for wanting to invest in their product, granted in the secondary market, but regardless, and don't even have the balls to give us an end date on the ban list? Like, I said this quite some time back. Um, but I still stand true to this, that every single ban list that we get from here on out that does not have an end date is already a garbage list by default because we don't know what cards to buy, we don't know when to sell, we don't know what to invest in, and it's just, oh, you know, we drop a list whenever, you know, starting on April 2nd, if they see Imperial Order being played in every deck, they could be like, oh, emergency ban Imperial Order again, guys. Sorry, we made the price go up to $45 in the secondary market for no reason. Even though Konami hates the secondary market, but they apparently also hate Capital G, so there's that. <laughs> Which, I'm not even going to get into all that drama with him and Konami and Glasgow. All of that stuff is between them. Uh, I see Capital G as a friend. That And it's, you know, I'm leaving it at that. You know, I have nothing but respect for the guy. And, you know, if there's drama going on in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, I'm staying away from it. Because right now I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to recoup my losses with Zoo. And the whale had to drink some water again. So, yeah, just this list was already garbage by default because they didn't have an end date. Um, th th I don't care whether Stratos comes back or not. Like, here, here's the thing with me and these ban lists. Like, sure, there's the memes of free my you know what Stratos. Um, 
Sangin came back to three, and everyone was saying back then, you know, free my you know what Sangin and all this other crap. And I honestly just didn't don't even care, just because of the simple fact that they had to go and bust. Where is it? This? Well, this I do care about, but not as much as this. It's it's just like you know, it, it's just stupid. It, it's so asinine, and it's you know. I think Robbie actually had a point when he said that Yu-Gi-Oh players are masochists because we love being in pain. Like, we love wasting our money on these archetypes. And it was funny, too, because um, a few weeks ago before the list dropped, um, me and my dad were talking, and he said, if this list drops and it completely kills your deck, I would not invest in any other deck ever again. And I was like, honestly, I'm kind of considering that. Um, the Back then. Now, am I considering it now with Zoo? I mean, it's kind of a coin flip because they didn't kill the deck. They just more or less put the deck in check. The problem is, is that they hit the key card of the deck. They hit the best card in the deck to two. And it's like, it's like hitting Tengu. Like, I, if I remember correctly, they put Tengu from three to two at one point, And it just made the card so much worse because all of the plays that you had before with it basically just went out the window and you had to completely reteach yourself the best way to play Tengu. That's what we zoo players have to do now. We have to completely reteach ourselves how to play Zodiac. Like I was playtesting a hand or some hands earlier just to, you know, goldfish and make sure that my deck was testing well. And like I was doing some weird crap with like freaking Tiger Mordor detaching to put another material on Dryden just to make it beefier. And it's like this is not how I want to play Zodiac. This is not why I enjoyed playing the deck so much. I enjoyed playing the deck so much because the first turn combo was so busted and insane and just flat out fun. Like, I like being able to play a deck that just vomits out a board and says, can you break my board turn one? If you can, okay, try and make a comeback. And just, I enjoyed that interaction. I don't know what it was, just it was entertaining to me. That's what I was into. And now I'm having to completely reteach myself how to play Zoo, and there's no builds to go by because the ban list is only two days old. And, you know, I'll admit to you guys, I'm a net decker to, to a degree. The, the way that I make my decks usually is I'll look at the builds at top, like, you know, let's say uh, the YCS and Prague, I'll look at those builds at top, and I'll net deck it, and I'll play it, and I'll make changes accordingly based upon my play style. Will I copy it card for card? Not necessarily, unless I like every card for card, but the majority of the time that doesn't happen. Even when I was first getting into Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively and going to regionals and stuff, I figured out that I was like, hey, I can just, you know, build these decks card for card, play them, and then when I found something I didn't really like, I could just take it out. Simple as that. And, you know, people are obviously going to hate on me being a net decker and all that. I know this is what you deserve, and I, I don't really care, honestly. I have so few emotions and so few cares to give right now that it just it doesn't even matter. Just because of the fact I wanted to play my deck at full power, I wanted to be able to hopefully top my regional, and now, like, the percentage of me hopefully topping this regional and getting my invite went from, like, I would say maybe 80 to 85%. I feel like it dropped down to the maybe high 30 to 40, maybe 50%, but that's pushing it. Um, just because of the fact now that, you know, again, I have to reteach myself how to play this deck, and it, again, it's my fault partially because I invested in the deck too early, uh, but I also had to get the cards at some point so I could go to locals and play test with my friends and stuff. Uh, and also go into tournaments and actually play test in a tournament scene, so I'm not going into the regional cold, if that makes any sense. Um, but it's also Konami's fault for not letting us know when they're going to drop a list. They could have easily have just dropped a list right when Link Summoning came out. Because now with this garbage-ass list, they're going to have to drop a list right when Link Summoning drops. I mean, it's going to happen. I'm telling you that right now. That's why after my regional April 1st, I'm selling all of Zoo. Because that's just what I do nowadays. Like, I'll buy the best deck, and I'll sell it. So I spent over $700 on Zoo. I'm most definitely not going to make $700 back. I'm going to have to recoup my losses and hopefully get $400 out of the deck, or hopefully $350 at this point. So, you know, it's just one of those things, you guys. And um, to any of y'all who want to get into competitive Yu-Gi-Oh!, I mean, honestly, with just how much salt I'm feeling right now, I'd say don't even bother with it, because... Konami is just a trash company that wants to put their ban list inside a pachinko machine for all they care. <laughs> like, no end date on the ban list, no, none of this other stuff that, you know, a company needs to do. 
And I, I, I joked around with, like, my buddies and my dad uh, a few weeks ago saying I should make a video, like, as uh, satire saying that I will uh, sue Konami if they drop a ban list and completely kill Zoo after I invested so much money into it. But it just seemed like a stupid video idea. But I think I'm done ranting. Um, again, as you guys can tell my voice, probably, I just, I don't care. And I'm so tired and so exhausted that, you know, I'm just focusing on working a bunch of hours at my job to recoup my losses from uh, what I spent so I can at least be, you know, back in the black uh, if you guys get those investment terms. And, uh, I mean, I'm just going to have to chill out until Link Summoning because after this regional, I'm just going to, you know, chill out and make videos and live stream every now and again and just wait until Link Summoning drops and then the game will get fun again. So, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys lose any money on Zoo? Are you guys playing Paleo and you're like so happy right now because I wish I could be feeling that? Let me know in the comments below. And um, Konami, you are the worst company I've ever seen. Even worse than EA. I mean, EA's changed a lot. You guys are, are terrible. Put an end date on your ban list and let us know when things are actually going to change. Don't make us lose so much money on the secondary market and on your own product.